is Windermere Ranch Middle School Jazz Band under the direction of Bob Gage. The first piece I'll be playing for you is entitled Rice and Beans by Victor Lopez. The second piece is Long Lost Friend by George Shattuck. And the final piece will be Get It On by Bill Chase, arranged by Victor Lopez. Let's hear it for the Windermere Ranch Middle School Jazz Band.
experience, band is not a plural term. It's a singular. You're one, in my mind, you're, I hate to say it, but you're one entity. I don't think of you as individuals. I think of you as a band of brothers and you are and sisters, and you are here to uh, make music for me as one. And so that's one of the things that I think this band is best at because it's tight. Almost always you have good time, pretty good groove, there's a pretty good feeling, but for middle school, you're way beyond anybody's wildest imaginations. Intonation is uncanny for middle school. I think, uh, I, I, sure you go out of tune, you have little intonation problems here and there, but for the most part, all around, intonation is really good, really good. I just, uh, you know, I teach college, but it's community college, so my bands are not much better than this band, or my second band at least is not much better than this band. So, you know, it's about the same level, and you think, wow, a college band at that level? And it's true, that's what it is. But um, you guys have a, a really good sense of intonation like a college band would have. I've heard high school bands that play more out of tune, of course, than what you do. So. Everybody's coming in. starting the tempo slower than where we want to go. Out there, one of the judges is, um, uh, now I'm going to forget the drummer. Um, anyway, Fasman, Kelly Fasman is out there. She's probably one of the top drummers in the Bay Area and travels all over the world. And she's, she's very good, very good drummer. She was one of the other judges who said, please hand this note to the drummer. Okay, so she, what she wrote down here is a mambo style beat. I don't expect you to play it right now, but think about it and look at it and see how this fits into the whole mambo style, right? You see what she wrote here? Boom, got, got, got. It's like boom, got, big ass, got, 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 right? And so that, that's what she's, that's her gift to you. And I would, if you get a chance, maybe go take a lesson with her, Kelly Fadden. She's up in Concord area, I think. But uh, if, if you can't uh, go there or whatever, um, just, you know, study the mambo a little bit. See, see if you can uh, add. Uh, again, I don't feel that I don't feel that it's moving. Great. Let's talk a little bit about the ballad now. The, um, the feature that Riken that Riken did. Um, you have a gorgeous kind of Especially younger musicians tend to do that a lot. They're shaping each. You're trying to give me something shaped. You're trying to say, I want to be musical. Here it is. But we don't do that, right? Even if I'm a, even if I'm an actor and I want to say here it is, I'm not going to, I'm not going to concentrate and shape each word. I'm going to say here it is, or I'm going to say here it is, or I'm going to say whatever. You guys have to think of this as a whole line. And I'm guessing, since you phrased so well all through this whole set, I'm guessing what's messing you up are those accents. You're trying to put in the accents to get wah, wah, wah. And I would suggest you do this. Oh, I can't say that. Just three notes, just go. But the note is strong, so you don't get wah, wah. And I, I do breath accents, I do. It's just a little pop of air that adds an accent. You couldn't have a phrase mark over the top, you might do that. If you want to tongue it, it's fine. It'll make it a lot easier. But don't make the note go like this. Make the phrase, yay, ha, ha. You always shape phrases. Very good. 